Today's video, we'll be going over three stocks likely to benefit from a vaccine-led return to normalcy, a number of positive news announcements on COVID-19 vaccine progress this month have sparked a massive rally on Wall Street with both the Dow Jones Industrial Average and the S&P 500 hitting a series of record highs in recent days. UK-based drug maker AstraZeneca became the third vaccine candidate to show that it can be as much as 90% effective in preventing people from catching the disease following those from Moderna and Pfizer earlier this month. Taking that into account, here are three stocks that stand to benefit from a vaccine-led return to normalcy in the months ahead. Kicking off with the first name, perhaps one of the best stocks to play the ongoing rebound in domestic air travel is Delta Airlines. Shares of the airline company have made an impressive recovery off their coronavirus related sell off in May with shares rebounding by an astonishing 135%. Despite the recent surge, Shares are still down almost 30% year to date. Uh, overall, the stock ended on Tuesday near its best level since March 11. Uh, at current levels, the Atlanta, Georgia based airliner has a market cap of $26 billion, making it the second largest US airline company behind Southwest Airlines. There's a lot to like with Delta here. Data provided from the TSA showed that nearly 3 million people went through TSA checkpoints over the three days through Monday. That, that was the highest number since uh, uh, mid-March before the peak of the uh, coronavirus pandemic. Sunday's total of more than 1 million was the highest single day number since March 16, despite calls from public health officials to avoid traveling for Thanksgiving. So keeping that into account, the positive vaccine news could mean air travel will improve at, e at an even more rapid pace uh, in as we enter 2021, which should bode well for Delta stock. On to number two, the second name, Starbucks, whose shares are up nearly 12% so far this year, has managed to weather the coronavirus storm better than many of its peers in the restaurant sector. Uh, the coffee giant has taken steps to improve its digital ordering capabilities, drive through service, and delivery and pickup options as it seeks to adapt to shifting consumer behavior amid the pandemic. Shares settled just below their all-time high from July 2019 uh, yesterday, giving the Seattle, Washington-based coffee chain a market cap of around $115 billion. Uh, the company suffered a sharp sell-off in its stock from January through the end of March as it experienced huge sales declines in response to coronavirus-related shutdowns. However, shares have rallied an impressive 96% off the March lows as the chain saw a swift recovery in traffic trends at both its U.S. and uh, China stores, its two largest markets. Uh, looking ahead, U.S. comparable uh, store sales, which fell 9% year over year in Q3, are expected to achieve double-digit growth in the second quarter of fiscal 2021. So it seems that the recovery is uh, on the horizon for uh, Starbucks and a, the, the vaccine will probably inject even more life into its impressive rally. The final name to consider is not one you'd expect. We're talking about Dave and Busters, uh, which is a restaurant and video arcade business based out of Dallas, Texas. Uh, the chain has saw has seen its stock collapse to an all-time low of four dollars and sixty-one cents in mid-March after uh, the chain closed nearly all of its uh, all of its locations in response to the outbreak. However. Play stock has soared by a whopping 485% since then, closing at a nine month peak of $27 uh, on Tuesday. Uh, so, obviously, despite the rally, shares are still down year to date, uh, almost uh, down 32%. 
Uh, we like Dave & Buster's over here heading into its earnings uh, report in just a few weeks. Uh, the company ex is expected to release Q3 results on Tuesday, December 8. Uh, consensus estimates call for a loss of $1.08 per share, which would be an improvement from the loss per share of $1.24 in the preceding quarter. Revenue, however, get this, is forecast to jump 128% quarter over quarter to $116 million, thanks to steadily improving sales at its reopened stores. So without a doubt, the arrival of a COVID-19 vaccine would likely result in an even quicker recovery for the arcade dining operator as consumers seeking a social dining experience return to its locations. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Keep an eye on these three stocks heading into the end of the year. And if you have any thoughts on them, I'd love to hear that. And most importantly, if you have three stocks you'd like me to go over for next week, leave me those in the comment section as well. I'd be glad to cover those. So have a good one, everybody. May the trading gods be with you.